<laughs> I'm Judy Thompson. I teach English as a second language, and I love my job. I developed a pro specifically, I like to teach people how to speak English, and I developed a program how to do that, and it's called Speaking Made Simple. We're going to start with the problem with the way English is taught today. We're just going to be straight about that and how we can fix it. So we're going to spend the rest of the day on how to fix it. So here we go. It's right here in a nutshell. The meeting is Wednesday. If you have a learner that says that, yes, they have an accent, and no meaning is lost. And this is the difference between conversation, their ability to have a conversation, their comprehensibility, and their accent reduction. Unfortunately, I'm going to say most programs today work on, on accent reduction as if it were an issue, as if it were important. So if their accent doesn't, everyone has an accent. I have an accent. Everyone has an accent. Accent doesn't necessarily impede their ability to make themselves understood. And if it doesn't impede their ability to be understood, then they don't have a problem. And we don't have to fix the details of accent. So IPA is over here, linguistics are over here, and I'm just going to say, it's, that's just more and more information. And uh, that's not just ESL, and that's not just uh, linguistics and speaking English. Education is information. More and more information. Unfortunately, more information doesn't make a difference. Different information doesn't make a difference. Like, get your head around that. And this is what Sir Ken Robinson has been trying to, to teach us and why students graduate from the university and they're unemployable because they're just full of information. So in a nutshell, how do you lose weight? It's four words. Eat less, exercise more. There's four words. And there's a multi-billion dollar industry built around adding more and more information to those four words that everybody already knows. We already know this. How many pounds, how many ounces has anybody ever lost knowing that information or adding more information to that? Absolutely none. So this course is not about information. It's about transformation. So information is a little bit here, and I keep grabbing myself here, because the shift is in here, and this is what we're going for. I can do this for the students. And you can tag these moments of transformation. So inside of conversation, there are only six rules, and we're going to, and we're going to do them today. And I'm going to start with a, a tiny story of a student from Sri Lanka, a beautiful young woman. And it was a literacy class. And, the, and, the class, and she was fairly new to the class. And the students were working away at something. And she came up to my desk. And she looked me in the eye. And she said, teacher, you leave ashram? And I said, sure. And, she, you know, and off she went. She wasn't at the door before I thought, how did that work? How is it that that worked perfectly? Conversation is patterns. And we're, we're, what we're learning today are the six patterns of conversation. And they're true of every single conversation. So when a two-year-old says, mommy, daddy, uppy, or the, or, or the speaking that I'm doing right now, all fall inside of these rules. And that's why they work from the lowest levels to the highest levels. And unfortunately, a lot of our students, how many have students who are doctors, engineers? Yeah, these are highly, highly educated people, well, well read, read, read people who have trouble and lack confidence speaking. Yeah, because nobody taught them about speaking. They only taught them details and information. The industry looks like this. The beginners, there's more beginners than any other cohort. And then there's fewer intermediate students and very few at the, highest, at the very highest level. And the course today is going to look like this too. We're going to spend most time on the foundation and then move up to, up to the pinnacle that way. And everyone starts at the beginning. So because this course never existed before, and nobody knows how speaking works except for us, every student's program is exactly the same. So all the beginners start here, and all the advanced start here. They've never heard it before. It's new to them. So the only difference between a basic level student and an advanced level student is the speed that they go through the material. The 
that and that's it. So we all start at the beginning. We're all be we're all beginners first in new information. So student background, whatever level they are, and maybe we'll really speak to this level. There is a pre benchmark. There's a little there's a level here that I can't hold a pen. They have other issues, you know. But we're not doing those. We're doing right from benchmark one, and they recognize their name when it's printed. They can often print their name. They know A, B, C, D. They know the names of the colors. They can count one to ten. And the beautiful part about the system is that's all they need to know before the speaking part's going to work because it works at every level. So it'll work at the most basic level, and it works here. So if I show you how it works here, you can easily see how it works everywhere. So when they arrive, this is what they have for information. And we're going back here again. And how do they feel on the first day of school? And you've got speaking class written, and they've signed up. And they're sitting there. And what's, what, you know their experience. They're scared. They're embarrassed. They're frustrated. They're shy. There's a lot of like this. And they know that you don't know them. So whenever I say up here about, oh, I can fix speaking for anybody, and this is going to be so fast, and this is going to be so great, they're all sitting there going, she doesn't know me. She doesn't know how hard I've tried. She doesn't know that this is, right? Yeah, that's, that's what you, that, this is what you inherit. These are the, the blobs of clay that are sitting there and what they're bringing. There's a lot of lack of confidence at every level. The most advanced students are embarrassed about their accent. Right? You're nodding, 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 and you're going, if I could fix, if I could wave a magic wand and fix one thing for you, it would be that, because I know you would be fine, right? It's a magic wand, but it's about a, it's about a 16 hour wave, which isn't a thousand hours, which isn't years. It's 16 to 20 hours, 16 if you're advanced, 20 if you're a beginner. Introduction, so this is your first hour. I don't know if you're teaching your students an hour at a time, or night school is three hours, right? So the first hour, the introductory hour to the course, this is the goal. So we have a goal. By the end of the lesson, they'll know each other's names and begin to trust the class. They'll be able to understand the teacher's voice and instructions. And here we go. They're going to feel secure, hopeful, excited about the class and the possibilities you're going to make available to them. And there it is in little tiny letters at the bottom. They'll be happy. So in one hour, you're going to take them from anxious and afraid, really, to happy. It's important to do that for the atmosphere of the class. And this is how you do it. Whatever. Benchmark one, and I write it as I'm saying it, because a lot of them can, can visually see, you know, uh, support what you're doing. And I write the whole thing out. My name is Judy. I speak English. I'm from Canada. And then I tell them something personal. Either I have four children, or I drove to school today. That's how I get to school. And then they, and then they go around the class, and they, and they follow the model. My name is. Or they may not. You may get Carlos Spanish Colombia walking. That's what you're going to get, which is also perfect. So they've just had an experience of being perfect, or perfectly understood, without all the concerns about grammar and everything that drove them into uh, submission before. You're tricking them, really, of having successful experiences. So benchmark one, that's that. Benchmark three, the intermediate level is a little bit different. My name's Judy Thompson. I live on a farm. The thing I'm most proud of, that's something about me. That's great. And then here's the hooker. The, the secret about me that I don't want you to know is that I can't spell. And they can't believe. They just sit there, did she just say that? They think their teacher's perfect. They think everybody who speaks English understands each other and spells perfectly. Most of my students spell, more, spell better than I do. And I can ask for their help. So I say, when you see me make a mistake on the board, if you could point that out to me, that would help me a lot, and I would appreciate your help. You see a little shift in there? The whole room is different when, when you don't have to be perfect. And that's telling a real one on myself. I'm going to spell something wrong. That's not going to be a secret for very long. 
So I might as well just give it. 